welcome back to the channel. While Rosa was setting up the tent, I found a big old abandoned log that this little hatchet, as dull as it is, was very dull. <laughs> able to split a little. So now we have more wood to have a big fire because it's going to be cold. And have a fire tomorrow morning, hopefully, after this place is... It's supposed to be snow tonight. Completely tomorrow. covered in snow, yeah. Yes, that is, that is the hope. Um, it was a beautiful paddle out here, as you saw. The uh, I mean, it was sunny, which we haven't yeah. seen in a few days, and you know it was cold, but it wasn't too windy, so it was manageable. And I don't know that those conditions are going to be the same tomorrow, but we can hope that at least it will be beautiful and snowy. And well, I think it's still supposed to be calm. It's just supposed to be snowing. <laughs> yes. Well, we brought our favorite little fire starters again. We could go through the hassle of starting a fire without it, but why would we? Uh, especially in you know wetter places like this, you always want some easy way to start a fire. The rest of this firewood is the one that we hauled in the back of my kayak. Yeah. Well, because it's pretty unreliable to have. Yeah, there was no confidence we were going to find wood. But we found some, which is nice. Yes. And I don't think it'll take too long to get a fire going and then start dinner. Mac and cheese. How to make vegetables taste good, guys. <laughs> yeah. Butter and cheese, right? Butter and cheese. We'll make the veggies on the fire. I just want to have everything hot yeah. at the same time, and we only have one jet boil. Don't disappoint me, Cracker Barrel. Put it all on there. Throw it on. I trust you. Looks pretty good. Smells very good. Smells Jeez. just like Kraft mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Well, you take what you want. I don't know how much you wanted. Cause I'm gonna bread and butter too. Right, so I'll eat this for now. We were just talking about how I'm eagerly anticipating ski season. He was talking about it. Yeah. And I was wondering if you guys would do me a favor. Powder. And peer pressure Rosa into skiing. <laughs> You're gonna use the YouTuber people to peer pressure me? Mm-hmm. I don't know how that's gonna well, work. Well, we live there. in a state with such excellent slopes. And I'm excited to, you know, do some, maybe, you know, it won't be solo because she'll be featured as she's driving to pick me up. <laughs> uh, Backcountry skiing missions, you know, just going from high up in the mountains way down to somewhere she can pick me up and... I'll be featured from the comfort of Chad. <laughs> But, if Rosa ever picked up skiing or snowboarding... I won't. He really wants me to, and like, I've tried it. I don't like it. You did it forever ago on the wrong side of the country. It does not count. I think, like, it's like I don't ride in, like riding bikes. I don't like doing any of that. I don't, I like to have my feet on the ground. I don't want something in between my feet and the ground. Unless it's a car? Or a kayak? Are, yes, those I'm fine with. Well, that's not the ground, that's water. I just think you have to do it enough till you get good at it and it's fun. But I don't like winter. Well, it's, all, it's always winter. Yeah. I really like this mac and cheese. It's really good. Well, it's five o'clock and that means it's already pitch black outside. So in preparation for the snow tomorrow, or tonight, I'm going to flip over our kayaks just to make sure they're usable in the morning. 
Is this you? That's <laughs> me. <laughs> Hi. Cozy little, little touch. Luckily it's still dry. I'm sure that's all gonna change overnight. Alright. Hmm. I'm just laying down. Feels good? Yeah. It's like all we did today was lay down it feels like. Well, especially the way I sit in my kayak. I am laying down. Yeah. Although it's only, what, 7.30? 40, 7.40. I'm tired. What about you? No, I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. So, I will be falling asleep first? Well, probably asleep? not. I never fall asleep first. Oh, yeah. I might go rewatch the episodes I have downloaded. <laughs> I have some YouTube. But hopefully it snows overnight and oh. we can wake up to something beautiful. Or we're gonna wake up and it's gonna be ugly. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> it definitely snowed. We've been tent hearing tent is collapsing. <laughs> we've been hearing snow slide off the tent all night. That's exciting, because For it's going to be so beautiful outside. I already peaked, it's pretty. And we're going to get to kayak back as the snow is falling, which will probably be more ro uh, sound more romantic than it is. Yeah, it's not romantic at all. <laughs> it just means it's going to be wet and cold. Snow down here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's so beautiful. Let's get a small fire going here so it can be warm before we kayak back. old phone I had before, the one I'm using to film this video right now, is under this dock, like 10 feet down, and fell off almost a year ago. And uh, I had really no way of getting it back. It's not very clear, because it's a very glacial, silty lake. And when we had just gotten to this campsite, you know, it was so cold, probably similar as to now, 
that jumping in without a fire and all that. Like that was my initial instinct, like let me jump in. And I was like, you know, I could die doing that. Because we don't have a towel and it's not any warmer in the air. If anything, the water was warmer than the air. to where we started through the rain the wind the snow and the waves so we're quite a bit wetter than when we began but I'm proud of us because that last bit was a little more torrential a little bit soaked <laughs> at least you got boots Got the kayaks on top of the car. The world's slipperiest Always ice rink journey. of all time up there. We'll get a towel. Yeah. Helped a little bit. Helped a lot. I wouldn't have been able to do it. Ugh. Soaked, wet, cold, but happy to Miserable. be in here. It's time to dry off. Everything is soaked. Shower. Well, thank you for watching our winter kayak camping adventure. Yes. It's not something we're going to do very often because it's, it's, it's an ordeal. Well, it also, like, it doesn't snow usually at the level where it's easy to, like, inflate a kayak. Yeah, where, where, where the lakes don't freeze. Yeah. Uh, but most of the bigger lakes in the northwest are, are pretty low down, so you only get a few snow days a year. But this is a wonderful one. Absolutely mm -hmm. nobody. We had the entire lake to ourselves. Yeah. But oh. I think it's time to, to start the car, heat it up a little bit, yep. maybe. I'm cold. All right, well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> If you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We try to post things like this as often as we do them. So, uh, uh, and if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and comment. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.